was the best brute counter pick in the pool, so don't blame him. Alright, so welcome to the Grand Finals Best of Five between Prepare Secret and battle. Virtus Pro. Let's go over the lineup. Secret, it's No-Tail going to be playing the Brood. He did play the Brood, actually, now that I think about it, in the, the only other time this was picked in our tournament. It was No-Tail, and he destroyed. Um, yeah. The only reason yeah, I'm he, thinking he died a because, lot. <laughs> yeah, he died a lot. Well, he ended up destroying at the end, though. Um, yeah, it, but it was Simba funny because he had awful stats, right? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but he, it's, it's kind of an important point to make about Brood. Even if Brood dies three or four times in the game, he can be winning the game for you because you take oh, so much uh -huh. attention and it opens up this. The, but the, the conditional way of, or the usual way of using Crush is that you just get a lot of kills and few deaths, but he had like 2 7 and was probably the most important hero in the game. So Yeah, I mean, that I was think they ganked him 4v1 at the beginning of the game and they still yeah. didn't do that well. Opened up the map so much. Yeah. And okay, the rest of the team rounding out. Misery gonna be playing the Wraith King, Puppy on the Phoenix, S4 playing the Wind Runner, and Kuroki bottom lane on the Doom. And you see the really early web placed by No Tail to secure this top rune. Pretty sure they're gonna be. VP's gonna be too scared to go, I think. I rune. don't think so, because Phoenix is pretty weak level 1, and Wraith King is also not the greatest. You've got sure, they do have a really, really good level 1. I think this is their rune, to be honest. They have Dust as well. They could just go for this fight. Oh, oh who's but they're, gonna get it? they're 4 and 3. Jotam gets stunned in the face. Who's going to get the bounty rune? I think it was No Tail. And Jotam's going to be the first blood. S4 is taking that home. Puppy in the meantime. Trying to get Yul, but going to focus on BZZ, who's on the run. Has a Searing Chains and nothing else. That's two kills. Both going the way of S4 who will probably be dominating mid lane as a result. Very, very clever from Secret to not block mid, but send their mid hero to start 4 and 3 in the runes. This is what happens now when bounty runes are so powerful. You consider this a valid choice to actually 4 and 3 at the rune. And VP did not expect this one. It's something I think a couple of people have already talked about. The Is this worth it? And you know, if you get the rune and two kills, yes, mm. you can sacrifice a block for that. So let's see how VP are putting their lanes. They're putting Witch Doctor top played by y'all, together with Jotam's Venge and BZZ on the Ember. Mid lane will be G on Meepo. Like you said, Heartstark is playing against a double kill Windranger. And then bot lane Sidoy will be playing the bounty against Kuro's Doom. So, interesting stuff with this laning from Secret as well. And mid lane, it's more, it's more the gold advantage than anything, because uh, yes. CG's... S4 is going to have a little bit of a level advantage, but it, honestly, if S4 had picked up the bounty rune, this would be even more insane. But it was No-Tail that picked it up, of course, which is nice for him to have in this off lane. And I mean, what do you think about the kill potential in this top lane? They have a decent amount with the Searing Chains, Cask, and Magic Missile. They could potentially get kills on No-Tail. Mid lane, though, is what we're focusing on. G just used Poof. Here comes the initiation from Wraith King and Puppy on that Phoenix. This looks to be a third kill in the books, or is it? Yes. This time going to... S4 finally doesn't get a kill going his way. Despite Power Shot being buffed. Oh, that was more range than anything, I suppose. And a 0.3 second cast time improvement as well. I'm not sure how good this investment is for VP either. I was expecting them to maybe put the Meepo against the Brood. And sure, you're holding down the Brood, but this is starting to remind me of the first Brood game No-Tail had in the tournament, except he hasn't died yet. But even if they kill him a couple of times, these supports are busy up here, and in the meantime, Secret are free to roam because they know these supports aren't really moving, right? right? They might try to smoke now with the Venge if they want to, but well, well, Secret are going to get the rune and they're already time. smoked. Well, if they get closer to the cliff, it's going to end up getting popped. Yul transitioning out of the top lane. So yeah, No Tails, level 3. He's going to be level 4 not too far away. And... <laughs> That's pretty sick overall. G, of course, does have the second Meepo to work with right now. And here comes the smoke. No tail. Misery and company. Oh, I broke. Jotam's on. He's pinged out. This is a failed gank. For the Radiant. Unless if y'all just walks into it. Gets no, gets no, no, oh, he's actually doing game. just that. Puppy jumps in, gets a nice slow. Lots of damage over time as well. Misery has the Ray Fire left to work with. He's going to get stunned completely, though. He has to, to get stunned up before he drops, and he's not going to do so. No tail going pretty deep, does have another weapon for another web 8 well. seconds. He might want to try to get a consolation kill here on Yol, because he is probably going to go down. Although web is up in 2 seconds, is it going to be enough? No. Can he get the right click? He does, but no. not enough time to put down a web. So three it's a for 2 one. for 1. 3, three for, for 1. one. Meepo found third? Phoenix as well afterwards. Oh, wow. G rotated up. No way out for Puppy used his Icarus dive to initiate with. That early lead that Secret just built is pretty much down the drain with that one mistake here. Going in after the smoke broke, 
Might have been a little overconfident. Indeed, looking at S4 mid, it's 18 and 10 versus the 9 and 0 Meepo, so he's still doing just as well as before. Meepo catching up a bit in the golden experience department, but S4 should still continue to... I mean, this is the thing about Meepo, it's going to be very hard to contain, because he can just go into the jungle, especially if they're going to be stacking, which it looks as if Jotam is going to get a double stack here. Well, a double double stack, a triple and a double, actually. But I'm really scared for VP and the fact that No-Tail is 4-0. Oh, Dropping low. Oh, bottom There's lane. the rotation from Misery. Has a sentry and Puppy's there as well with a dust, but they're coming in too late. And now Sadoi has seen the Phoenix. Might be going forward. Here we go. Misery. There's the sentry oh, like you talked about. The stun. Wasn't stopped, though. That bug was supposed to be fixed. Sadoi in the meantime taking some damage, but he'll live. Would that have been a kill, you think? I'm not sure. I think Puppy on purpose didn't stop that, because he would have been in tower range mm. most of the time. I don't know if he could have gone in, but Sadoi, that poor man's shield is doing work for a gank like that. Very difficult to bring him down. Now Kuro could be on the receiving end in a moment. Jotam in position, waiting for the wave to be pushed out. There's a ping, though. I think Misery might have seen him. Well, we'll see soon enough. It is a level 3 Vengeful Spirit with one level of Magic Missile prioritizing the Howl of Terror at the moment. But in the end, it's still technically a 2v3. It'll be tough to get a kill, especially with Kuroki being pretty damn tanky top lane. Dust is popped, cast to follow. Is it gonna bounce a second time? No, but the right clicks are there. Yol oh, this is a lot of chase down from the spiders. And yeah, look this at that, is it's so much guard is amazing. And Yol even lives. And they found misery too. VPR. They're not just back in this, they might be leading now. Kuro. Still sticking around. I think he's expecting to be able to survive with level 4 Scorched Earth. I think he's right to expect that. Yeah, he's gonna be fine. He'll be good to Radiant's go. And of course, that is a is level 6 Bounty Hunter. That track has been upgraded, if you will, in the last patch. They only have a 4 second cooldown at all levels, and any kills that you get, you'll get a, basically, I think at the highest level, 100 extra gold for yourself. And I think at level 1, it's 50 extra gold. Pretty sure that's right, but could be wrong. G gonna try to secure the rune being scouted out by S4. Has the shackle available to him. G just really wants the rune. Well, he gets shackled. Is this gonna be enough to get the kill? One more right click? Oh! Or just a power shot? Oh, he really wanted that rune so bad and got to pay for it. That was... Well, he got it, at least. What right? rune was it? It was a bounty rune. No, just a bounty, okay. Uh, was it worth it? <laughs> Was that his main? And that wasn't his main Meepo getting the rune, was it? It was a clone, because else I think he could have lived there with Bottle, right? Or was um, it his main, and he just didn't think he could bottle? I don't know. He might have bottled between hits and then been able to get out. That was still a very close, close play, no matter what. No tell le almost level seven at this top lane. Holy crap! Yeah, he's <laughs> That's lurking. Insane. I mean, the fact that Meepo isn't at that level yet is pretty insane. Obviously, the death sets him back just a bit. But typically speaking, Meepo will catch up anyway. So they want to get No Tail, but he's not showing. How many sentries they have down here? They have one at the moment. They used Dust last time to secure the kill for themselves. Three heroes for Secret in mid lane. Dyer's They're gonna smoke up and head into the enemy jungle. And Brood's still playing extremely fast, He's using those spider links to get as many kills as he can. Yol. Uh, well, there's Dust just in case he can go invisible. <laughs> the right clicks are just. Disgusting right now. So, so much lost. No he can't tracked. run through anything right now. He's probably pretty freaking dead. Goodbye. That's a lot of burst damage. So it's a one for one. And probably in the favor of VP overall. And I think No Tail knew that was risky, because there's a Venge solo bottom, and that just screams Bounty is roaming, so he's either mid or top, and he hadn't shown mid for a while, so I think he was expecting bounty, but just moved out of position for a split second, got tracked, and that set up a nice kill for VP. So like you said, one for one. Currently, fairly even game. I want to say, as far as the overall strategy goes, this is the kind of start VP would want, because I think Meepo and Ember will scale very well into mid late game compared to safe lane Doom and Windranger. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, he's going to get tracked again. Dyer's Don't think they're going to be able to get the kill here. Oh, Ember Spirit's really yes. trying to get the ensnare. Is this going to be enough to get the kill? There's no sleight of fist. 
No tail! Dies again. That's just, I mean, we've seen this before, I guess. Rinse, repeat. <laughs> it worked out quite well from last time, I guess. But, but this the time, they're not they're not using four heroes constantly to try to take Dying them out, right? Two, two to three. DPR distributing the resources on the map way better than Tinker did in the game we're talking about, where Brute just ran them over. They're, middle tower they're moving different heroes around. They're not staying there for too long. The harassment of Brute hasn't really been a problem. And because of that, PCC is getting really good farm. At the same time, Pig Daddy has died four times. And their other solos are doing fine too. Bounty is fine with running around for like a minute if he just gets a trap kill. And it's worth it. But all in all, this is opening up a lot of space for Kuroki. Even if it means the death of his own teammate. Radiant's and he's going for a Midas, which attack. I'm assuming is done. Yeah, it's on the courier right now, so we will be delivered very shortly. Um, which means he's still not going to be part of the fights anytime soon, really. Like, you want like, a blink dagger or something to be able to get into the fights, in all likelihood. So, they're playing the... kind of the late game, I suppose. I, who do you favor in the late game, actually? What's late game for you in this? 60 minutes or 40? Well, 60 minutes is, like, extreme late. Okay, late so at 40, 40, 40 minutes in? Sure. I'm gonna say the Dire, because Phoenix falls off. I think Brood falls off a lot as well. And it's a support Wraith King with boots and a stick, so his farm is not going too well either. So you have a Doom Core with Midas, which of course is gonna get big, but I'm having a hard time seeing that beating an Ember and Meepo in the late game, together with a Windrange hit solo mate. If that was a Shadow oh. Feed or something, then maybe. Oh, speaking of Notail, however, on that Brood. It's a little assassination from Notail. Now level 8. Is going to go back to top lane. Yeah, this is big because they're moving. VP are now moving around heroes trying to deal with the brood. And if he, if Noto still manages to get a kill at the same time, <laughs> it's a huge investment wasted. Well, BZZ snipes the haste rune. Puppy was holding it for a long time. That would have been really good gank attempt there uh, with the haste rune on Wraith King. Zodoy looking for it. Ever since they changed this, this courier to being. Is it one shot by bounty or is it, is it two? Uh, because it's, it's one melee... shot with level 4 Janata for sure. Level 4 Janata would do it? Okay. Because yeah, melee definitely. heroes in general do a lot more damage to it. Um, Kuroki, we still yet to see Doom used, but hasn't really had any true kill potential. In fact, he might be getting ganked here from Yol if they can push this up a little bit, but we'll see. He's extremely survivable with that stout and level 4 Scorched Earth. S4 picks up a Maelstrom, so pretty typical build overall, as we're seeing some cliff jungling from Puppy. Don't try this at home. Usually doesn't end well in the world. <laughs> okay, that didn't oh, end okay. well. <laughs> well. He did take out the Mud Golems, those are always pesky. Alright, we might have a dive here at the top tier tower, tier 1 tower. Notail has now, Soul Ring along with moment. Medallion. This gank has to work out for Seeker, else they're going to be on the receiving end. Triple Spirits or Remnants are ready for BZZ. He's a difficult kill without the Doom, I want to say. It's, even if they land all their abilities, there's a bench behind the too. swap. They, they can't kill BCC, I think. Yeah, it's going to be extremely They might tough. try. But... This lane guard takes a stun, takes a double stun, in fact, but there's a swap that you talked about. They might have to force things onto Jot. If he gets surrounded by the Spiderlings, this should be a kill. One way or another, that's one kill going the way of Seeker, but they're going to lose Puppy right off the bat. Doesn't have the egg to work with whatsoever. Yol on the run, but No Tail is getting stuck in between everybody. The ensnare after ensnare. First damage from BZZ. Down he goes. Two for one. VP advantage. Witch Doctor still getting chased. <laughs> Jesus, these spider links look so weird. This looks like the and character from the too. Simpsons. The alien from The Simpsons. Do you know what I'm Dyer's talking about? Uh, don't attack. think so. I've right, seen well. quite a bit of Simpsons, but nothing comes to mind. So. What? I mean, nothing comes to mind. BZZ. Now they might finally get him. He gets to get surrounded, maybe. But the flame guard just eats through these spider links. Oh, good nice shackle. shackle. Very nice. That should smart. be finally enough. It took a while, but they got the kill. <laughs> Yeah, without that combat kill, that's easily a one fight for BP. They have track gold in there, they got the tower denied. Um, they had a couple of heroes involved in the track kill as well, so they got even more gold. And now they're rotating bottom G. He's running in with a meat force. Gonna get spotted by his four though. They want the Kuro's very dead. Yeah, he gets the doom up. Oh, nice shackle, shackle. wait a moment! Maelstrom going oh, to work. Look how much goodness. damage this does to Meepo. Kuroki's gonna live! Egg is used to... No. Oh. What Little a Kanoa sick effect. shackle shot. That just Dyer's totally made the fight. Is under Kuro is fairly tanky with the Basilius as well as Scorched Earth on, but if Meepo Dyer's was able to get all those poofs up there, he's almost gone instantly, but 
Dutiful Shackle Shock, Puffy immediately with the Fire Spirits on as well. He actually wanted to defend his death towards Blades. Along with Malady, I'm Kuroki. Puffy's the one that's got to come. That's another great Shackle though. It's going to force the, the back out now. And Puppy is actually going to live. So that's two amazing shackles in a row for S4. S4 has shown up today. He is seriously out of control. 7 0 2 so far. He hasn't made a single mistake this game yet. And th I mean, that's one thing, but everything he's done has been almost perfect in addition to that. So, sick stuff from him. Okay. Simpsons Alien. How do you not know what that is? I don't know their names. It's the ones that are they're just like big green heads, they're from outer space. Oh, aliens, aliens are from outer space? Yes. I don't know how else to oh. explain it without you understanding. <laughs> it's okay. I don't need to understand this reference. It's okay. I need you to tell me they look exactly like him and I'm correct. <laughs> then we can move on from this. You've subject. got way too many victories today already. That's true. Get wrecked. No tail. <laughs> he wants to go for a kill here and Bounty knows he's Dyer's about around this area. Attack. And track, of course, an amazing counter to this hero. And we're gonna have a little bit of a push bottom lane. They're gonna get the tier one, but I think we're gonna have a fight here. No tail. Getting spotted just a bit from that sentry. I think it's their own sentry, right? It's a radiant one. Yeah, he's good. Okay. I thought he bumped into. Uh... Yeah, I guess so. that's fine. That yeah, was weird because Ember used his flame guard, so it looked yeah. like he had vision, but I don't think he did. He's gonna throw a remnant back as Secret do take the bot tier one tower. Puppy claiming claiming that claiming <laughs> claiming that the phoenix. What is that skill build on Phoenix, by the way? Never seen this before. Very, very two, unusual. Two, two, three. Yeah, most really Phoenixes unusual. max Fire Spirits over Icarus Dive and don't even take Sunray until the other two abilities are maxed. But Puppy focusing on the Ray is a very powerful ability if you are able to channel it for a long time, but mostly people value the Fire Spirits a lot higher because they're not that difficult to hit. That attack special and damage is really high. But Dust he gets hits. more healing for this. I think Notel's going to get out, though. Uh, tell me how... Because I don't want to miss a kill, so I'm just going to ask you, how does the sun ray scale? Because like you talked about, I'm used to seeing level 1 just for the... It's not even for the heal, more for the mobility. Well, yeah. not mobility, but going up cliffs and whatnot, counter warding. How does it actually scale from 2 to 4? I might have to wait on this. Kuroki jumps in with his really picked up blink dagger. Radiance Doom is not going to be applied, not in range. Attack. I think BZZ is fine. Man, this is a... This is a chase right here. And they're gonna get it. Oh, there's misery. The stun is there. Don't even need Doom. Track applied to misery. They'll have vision. They don't want to fight. So the way the way the ray scales is that it gets more flat damage per Radiant second and more max HP percentage. Attack. So it deals a flat amount plus X percent of targets max health per second. Mm -hmm. And it's the same for the healing. That also goes up. So it scales really well. It's not like the ability is bad or what about like cooldowns and stuff. Uh, uh, the cooldown's the same, and so is the health cost. It's only the damage that slash yeah. healing that increases. So interesting. Hmm. But yeah, unusual build. It's worked and so far. Does though. not get cancelled, does it? When you attack. lose health from one of your spells, since it's a self-hurting mechanism. Uh, yes, that does not cancel. Okay, and no tail getting spotted out. He's tracked. Uh, don't think there's a blink dagger on Meepo yet. He does have his agonims finished though. Holy crap! <laughs> I don't even know if that's fast, but that that just seems really fast. Once he gets that blink dagger, then No Tail's gonna have a lot of trouble as long as he's carrying a gem, a dust, anything of that sort. How do you think the brood has affected the game so far? Like, has it has the pick been justified for you in the in this at this stage of the game? Not as a first Dyer's overall pick, but it was a good attack. pick when it was taken, even overall. But I think VP have done a good job at dealing with it. It's we're we're not past brood's prime yet. Can still be a very powerful hero up until I want to say 30 minutes, but then just usually falls off really, really hard. But he's been taking some attention for sure. Has it been enough? I don't know. They have a 6k gold lead, but graphs are a little dangerous to look at whenever you have a brood because a lot of the net worth is on the hero, and it's very frequently not in the fights because you need to build up a couple of core items before this hero really is good at fighting. Even with the new change to web where you take charges with you, it's still. It's still a situational fighter in comparison to a lot of other offlaners or carries, if you will. But if No Tail builds for it, if he gets like a Blink Dagger BKB build, then he can join fights fairly early. If he goes the Orchid build, it's going to take longer, I think. So, Can you look at this bottom lane? I don't know what to do here if I'm secret. Meaning, is the reason he's at this far out because he's disconnected? Is there like a mana play here? Or do you just go for the kill? Because Kuroki has Blink online. 
Doom available to him. Phoenix is a little bit far back, but I believe I think he's going to let him get time. out. I think he's going to let him get out. We'll see. That's true. It's one of those situations that are just unfortunate. You could argue that BZZ wouldn't have gone back anyway. If he, if he didn't DC, he would have still farmed the wave and then they could have ganked him. So... Well, he's actually walked past the wave, if you look sure. at it. Sure. If he didn't walk past the wave, he would be like, up, let's say, up here, where I'm pinging or drawing right now, right? Right, yeah. And if he's up there, Kuro can still blink doom him. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. The reason Kuro is in his vision range is that he started running in because he wants to get the doom. And if he gets it, S4 is flanking, but he doesn't really have a good path in there for Shackle, though. He can only hit a power shot. I think BZ might live if he just runs back in a straight line and gets TP support from Avenge, which is ready. So it's going to be my it's actually it's going to be my guess that Secret don't try for the play because BP have time to set up a defense. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll Hopefully see. not too long of a DC here for BZ. Incoming forty minute pause because he just jinxed it. Thanks, Cinder. Yep, no problem. Appreciate we it. We dealt with it well yesterday. Uh, Notel has 3k. You talked a bit about his item progression, right? On which hero? Uh, Notel. On the spider. Yeah. No. Wait, Notel toilet! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. It is. I just realized uh, it's not that close. It's. No, never mind. Um, yeah, about his item progression, I don't know. What do you think he goes for? Because. Most brutes will go for an orchid first, right? So you can just dominate yeah. your lane. But he went for the medallion, which this buildup, of course, postpones that if you want. If you want it, and I think with his farm and the time it's taken and how many times he's died, going for the orchid build, I would think it's going to be too late. Even though it's good against the ember for sure. It's... I think. I think he maybe might need something BKB. to get in their face. I wouldn't mind seeing blink BKB, but at the same time, I can understand if he thinks it's too dangerous as well, in another way. Because then if he doesn't have an impact with it, he could have gone for a farming item, right? Um, or a lane dominance item in a different way, so. Oh, great. One of these again. Difficult. One of these again. It's North Korea again, guys. <laughs> They're at it again. Yeah, I can see that item build. Um, is Vlad still something Broods pick up? Or is it just like a forgotten, forgotten item build? Like it's still good. I'll take that as yes. It's an amazing, amazing item to get. For oh, sorry. I just got a message from Loda. Uh, what does he have to say for himself? <laughs> Said, he I'm so sorry. I, he thought it was tomorrow for some reason. How dare he? And then he asked in the conversation. He was like, "I suppose," uh, or he says, "Someone got my prize money." I suppose. <laughs> And fear just ice cold. You were on losing team anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fear speaks the truth, man. Yeah, well, fear is is really um, how to put it. He's really to the point. It's which is a, a nice a nice quality to have in most cases. And sometimes it comes off a little bit cynical as well, maybe. But he's not. He's not like that. No, he's not. Got the pleasure to cast with him at the TI4 hub. I don't think no, I didn't cast with him. Did he cast at the summit? I think he might may have, but I didn't cast with him. Very good caster. When he's when he finally uh, picks a time to actually retire. I mean, not that he needs to anytime soon, but he could definitely take up a career in, in broadcasting. I do believe. What do you think about these phase boots? Icon being changed. Being flipped, you mean? Yeah. It's pretty game breaking. I don't know. I think it's a funny joke, basically. So It basically means, fact. well, all the boots match. Except, no, that's not true. There's boots of elven skin. Is that what it's no, called? It's, boots of elven those skin? aren't boots. They're, it's a band in Dota 2. But you're right, in Dota 1, that was boots. Oh, uh, you're right. Slippers of Agility are facing right. Damn. And that's it, I think. So now all the boots are. But... You know, I, I kind of put it in the same category. It's, it's one of those small jokes in the game that was blown up to be a thing, like plus one armor, uh, cooldown yeah. and vacuum. You know, these these small things that somehow become become in community jokes, and then Boots just joined it. So that, it's kind of funny to see Valve um, appreciating that as well. It's the best way of putting it, I guess. When there's when there's something silly or stupid there, 
they're happy to change it and even turn it into a joke. Like even the alt click patch, you can tell that they're following what the community thinks is funny and and trying to use it in their game. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. For sure. BZZ has returned, and I'm assuming No Tail's out of the toilet. At least I would hope so. If not, I could give him a sponsorship for Pepto Bismol. <laughs> but I think I agree that they do not go on him here. Yeah, I think that's pretty evident. I think that's the right thing to do. Do you think there's any controversy if they go for it? <laughs> what if they just like screw it and just destroy his face right now? Here we go. Kuroki. Here we go. All right, he just Kuro stood is still. standing still. Yeah. And BZZ didn't trust him. He remnanted back anyway. <laughs> All right. Oh, Looks like he's good for now. Big Daddy No Tail taking a lot of poof damage. Those spiderlings aren't the most survival little creatures. Little aliens from Simpsons. God, looks exactly like them. Okay, attack. I'm gonna stop. Oh my God, get over yourself. I'm not. What do you mean, get over myself? Somebody needs to confirm this so that we can move on. All right, they really look the like shadow. the aliens from Simpsons. Thank Simpson. you. You don't even know what the aliens are. Radiance middle no, just move on. Attack. Okay, that's fine. They totally don't look like the Lynch from Simpsons. I hate you. So much. Wow, S4 has 4k gold. Holy crap. Does he finish the Mjolnir? Does he go for something like Blink Dagger? Mm. I mean, if he want, was going to go Blink Dagger, he probably would have gotten it already. He doesn't really need it the way he's been hit, hitting Shackles so far, That, that I think. is true. <laughs> That's a good point. He's going to the side shop, so it's a BKB. I was, I was wondering if he wanted this item, and I was like, I don't think he's going to get it because he probably doesn't need it yet, but this is allowing him oh, to pretty puppy. much refight. Oh, puppy. He's so dead. I think every Phoenix in Captain's Draft, this looks really weird when the spiders are all next to each other. I think every Phoenix has Dyer's fed, but they've all won, if I'm not mistaken. Uh... Right? Pretty sure it's undefeated. Damn, I can't remember. Right. I think it's only been picked twice, right? Right. Or was it two times? Oh, Misery walks into the same trap. Puppy was literally he just level... here. Wait, did he go stats or did he just not? Well, I guess leveling that would have been a waste there anyway. He still holds his skill point. That was a nice play not leveling the old. Yeah. But really wondering why Misery went there. Puppy pinged it literally 20 seconds ago saying, BP, you were here, ganking. And Misery's like, hmm, hopefully they're gone. Let me check. And no, they were still there. Well, he and this is a roach, the area. too. Yeah, it's gonna be old. Roach is four. at HP. He's gonna be making a good play down. with this BKB. They're gonna go Nobody in. He wants to go in. He's got the dive. He's got the egg. Let's see if it goes off. It's on the cliff. They can't cancel it. G taking a ton of damage. He's gonna be the first to fall in this engagement. Phoenix. Of course, the cooldowns are back up, so he can get off that cliff anytime he wants. Yul gets a nice... Oh, oh, oh no. god. Power Where's shot BZZ? being charged. Is it I BZZ? think Yol is dead no matter what. He can't move out of this. He can try to stick, but he'll still die. Yeah, he's down. 0.1 second channeling. Something wrong with my team. I hope it's something hope wrong it's not with lag. my teammates. I hope they didn't something... help me in the rush pit. <laughs> the only thing I hear in voice chat. Yeah, let's take a look at the ping, shall we? Oh man, this is some shit. Not that this is evident to what's going on, but everybody's ping seems reasonable. Except for mine. <laughs> At least you lacked to I am Where are they all lagging. located? Are they all in the same country? Do you know? Uh, I think they're all from Russia. They might have the same ISP or... Uh, I don't know how close they are to each other. Because Russia is pretty freaking big, if you didn't know. Yeah, it's like half European, half Asian, so big. Takes up the whole continent. Yep. Oh, there's the disconnection oh, here we go. from Bounty. It's gonna be one of these, huh? It's gonna be one of these. It's gonna be a long night. It's okay, I woke up at 5 a.m. I got all day. It's gonna be a long morning. <laughs> yeah, it's still morning, that's true. Hey, I can, it's 9.40 in the morning, I can go get McDonald's. And the reason that's significant is because I'm never up at this time normally, other than on tournament tournament days. So I can never get McDonald's breakfast, which... Personally, it's a huge pet peeve for me that McDonald's doesn't serve breakfast 24 hours, because I think their food, other than their breakfast, is garbage. Just garbage. But their breakfast is so good. If anybody from McDonald's is watching, 
if you have breakfast all day long, you guys' business will go through the roof. Just saying. Nobody likes your burgers. Cinder agrees. Cinder didn't even eat McDonald's when he was visiting here. He tried no, every that... other fast food. Yeah, because like the logic when we were there was that I wanted to try stuff I hadn't had before. So we we avoided McDonald's and Burger King and purpose because they're very of Burger well King. Oh, gets, oh, he's gonna miss. The power jump misses completely, and Kuroki's gonna get turned around on. Maledict among the right clicks are gonna be enough to take him out. Sadoi. As Flo was focusing on him, he's going to turn his attention to BZZ, who gets power shot and directly in the back of the head. So it was a two for one after the Meepo was taken out in the Aegis pit. Oh, this Roche is really important. They have track on his board. They'll see it. At the same time, though, Noto wasn't even there. So look at him go. Look at in him that go. Top lane. And he's going to push. It's the real look at him go, but doesn't really have anything to go going with. He can try to steal with Howl of Terror. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, way too late. That's the lag coming into effect. For VP. Uh, how much damage does that do right now? That should be 100 damage. How much space can you make for Blue? He's going Radiance, by the way. Oh, no tail. Poofity poof. Missing the net. Missing Still, the second net. Oh, Missing. Not throwing the third net, but he that's has two. There He's we go. Tracked. He's still tracked, even without the dust. So that's going to be a kill. Guys, I got him. Oh, here comes Puff. Okay. Puff, he wants it. Misery gets a stun onto G. That's going to be the kill of Meepo. That's the second death, a 50 second death timer for now. Did he buy back? And I want to say this. Uh, no, he didn't. I want to say this is the main reason that Puppy maxed the Sunray. It pretty much kicks ass against Meepo. If you want heavy single target damage, I think if you do the math, this is way more impactful than Fire Spirits mm -hmm. are at killing on April. Yeah, so, it seemed like it did a hell of a lot of damage, that's for sure. It does do a lot of damage if you can control it and you have the time for it. And if you look at VP's lineup, there's not that many things that mess up the Phoenix. So. Mm. Seems to have been a good choice so far. Kuroki. BZZ was looking for the initiation. <laughs> Jotun's gonna swap him out just in case. Kuroki thought about going for that Doom. He now has Aghanim Scepter with that level 2 ulti of his. So it's going to be disabling passives. Is that even... Is that relevant in this game? Let's see. Well, Janata. I mean, uh, what about Geo like... Strike on the one Meepo he dooms? Yeah. Yeah, like you said. What about magic immunity? That's not Janata. part of his skill set, right? That's just built into the hero. The special yeah, magic immunity. you don't remove that extra. Oh, uh, no tail. Do they see him? Oh, it just uses the wave of terror. Oh, they have? He's the radiance. Oh, uses it. Terror on the... oh my god, if he gets away from this. If he gets a kill on you, he's gonna get it. He gets stunned. Dyer's middle and he's gonna continue to chase. And he has radiance, he just fight Sidor. Yeah, absolutely. Well, he doesn't have vision for him right now. And reinforcements are on the Dyer's way for BP. They're gonna continue to chase Sidoy. Well, that, that earned did nothing. I hear a doom. Attack. Where's that doom? It's on BZZ. That's gonna be another death going away of four BZZ. As this mid lane is going to be pushed, space created from this brood who's continuing to fight. Hey, it's a death, but it's a tier 2 and a kill on BZZ. So the trades are in Secret's favor for sure. Yeah, that, that play from No Tail right there, I just made. He's made a lot of art. The, the, team, the cool thing about this is that I don't feel like it's brood making space for the others. I feel like they're like taking turns, right? Brood makes space for them, then in turn, they give him a lot of space afterwards. At that Roche fight, at this mid fight, uh, and now. Sure, he got Radiant killed, and they're gonna lose his tier one to Meepo Tom. Like you said, Secret had been claiming all towers but one. It's gonna be TP support. Much no real trade off. It's Puppy, he, he gets his snap right off the bat, oh, and it's done to the face. Easy kill for VP. Misery's not there in time. Don't think that would have even mattered, honestly. It's way too much lockdown. I keep calling it Ensnare. I know it's not Ensnare, Earthbind. Nah, Earth I'm not bind. calling it that. It's Ensnare. It's the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. Earthbind. It's just like Lion's Earth Spike. Like, it's Impale, bro. Not mean? Bro. I mean, the only difference is, other than damage and cooldown, is that it's targetable, unlike Nyx's, but it's still Impale at the end of the day. BZZ and Sidori gonna find Kuroki. Here comes the track. BZZ. This is taking them a while. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have Doom and they know that, so without TP support, he's done so. They didn't have any TPs on the Radiant. This is very rare to see a team without any TP on four heroes. Only Kuro had TPs, and he's the only one who couldn't use it. Oh, no tail. Ouch, ouch, ouch. He's going to continue. I mean, he can still get locked down with BKB, but he won't take that poof damage, and that's really what's killing him right now. Um, oh, he also can't get locked down. What? That doesn't Earthbind go through doesn't BKB? Work. No, what? but Geo Strike does. 
It's a while ago that got changed. Oh, okay. Because that was, that okay, was so one of the ways I guess of it's not in Snare after all. <laughs> That's a big change. Good to know. Huh. Alright, so BKB even better. Wind Ranger. Yes, I think it's a must have item for the Radiant. This, that's why S4 got it so early. Analyzing the situation correctly. Radiant's if this Radiant's on bird, I understand where he's coming from, but we still oh, need to see some results. Him. Good blink from Misery, that's a stun. And a death. They're gonna take a little bit of time, negative time you can. damage that's aura. That's a lot of time. Minus 30 for Ray King with the clear. Minus 33 for Phoenix. Is anybody else in range? Nope. Don't really ever see that. Well, we never talk about the Vengeance Aura, the negative Vengeance Aura. It's a pretty interesting mechanic. I think it's kind of cool. But with this Radiance, No-Tail's going to be able to farm so fast that he'll probably have BKB in the next, like, three minutes anyway. And once he gets he's that... He's not really farming time. that quickly, because he's died eight times, so... He can do it, though. He has potential. Aghanim Scepter Dyer's on S4. We might have attack. some action top. Sedoi. He's going to find No-Tail without a web. No-Tail has very slow reaction speed there. <laughs> And we'll find another way to the grave. And he isn't really creating space for anyone in this situation. He's just getting killed. They're actually TPing Tom to try and find something here. Secret. On to G. Oh, I just buys Hex in the shop. Well, he's not getting gonna absolutely be destroyed right now. Maybe. Poppy doing like, so much damage. He pops the egg. That's the death of Meepo right off the bat. And that's a doom applied as well. Ember Spirit falls to the ground. It's three dead just in the snap of the fingers. In the form of... VP. Man, S4. <laughs> this new Wind, Wind Ranger. He has so much attack speed with a zero damage penalty Maelstrom right now in a 25 minute game. When he finds someone, locks them down with a shackle, and then ults them, he can kill anyone on the Dire team from full HP. Even the Meepo, I think, he can get. Like, the damage of this is ridiculous. We get another. Uh, no the cash. Aghanim Scepter, you have no minus damage reduction, right? Or yeah, damage. level three. There's no reduction yeah, okay. at all. Zero. Which and is pretty crazy. There's something with... Uh, sorry, it's been a while since... Well, actually, it hasn't... Agnum Scepter's like, picked up all attack. the time. His Focus Fire is going to be applied to the tower now. Something with orbs. I don't know if that was changed. It just Dyer's got rid of completely or not. Um, or if it's actually inside the Agonims as well. Let me see. Unique removes attack modifiers. Okay, removes the penalty. Okay, so it's yeah. freaking legit. It's funny that that hero has just become kind of a carry now, a side carry, if nothing else. Puppy gets initiated on by G with that newly picked up sheep stick. He's gonna try to get out of there, but drops the gem. Oh, he had a gem. That's pretty big. Roche is up in anywhere between one and four minutes. Bottom tower is under and BP did hold their racks, but if they make one more mistake, that middle rack go bye bye. Go bye bye. This is a light battle fury coming yeah, very out. Very late. It's gonna be good against the spider links though for sure. Very good against Brood, yep. But still his main problem isn't that he can't deal damn hard, that he isn't doing enough damage, that he never gets more. Oh his my goodness! He's gonna die, but that just goes to show you how much farm he has right now. This is a nice swap. They're gonna stun misery for now. He has his level two ult to work with though. Doom applied to Jotam right now. Kuroki on the run. But BZZ and company should be able to finish him off. Gonna have to use a couple remnants to do so. But overall a good trade for VP. But as special spirit, how did she <laughs> that die? Ax Doom. Holy oh, that shit. was the Ax. <laughs> he had to follow four fifths of his health Radiant when he got Doom, and nothing else. He just ran away and still died. It's a ridiculous ultimate. But still, two for two, easily the better trade for VP. They get two cores for a meat point bench, and one of them had a ten kill streak, I think. Witch Dyer's Doctor claiming a thousand gold in that, and that's Ax within reasonable time frame for y'all. Currently. 1700 short on the wedge dock. You'll probably see him by the the point booster here, running oh, in yeah. circles. There we Sacrifice go. Sacrifice the sentry wards. Oh, the baboon's gonna pick it up. It's a great courier, by the way. That is actually a baboon. I the didn't baboon even notice. Butt. I love it. You can tell by the butt, Cinderin. That's all you need to know. Yep, that's true. I love it. And Misery right now, level 14, going oh, for a BKB of his own. This is gonna be like BKB gaming for Secret pretty soon. Yeah, unless it could be a halberd against mainly the Ember or the Bounty, but it's it's not ideal. At the same time, though, I don't think... I don't know how big of a threat Misery is with a BKB, to be honest. Like, VP can just track him and kind of ignore him. They don't want to kill him anyway, right? You know what it is? So It's SNY, bro. Sanjigasha, yeah, it's good. 
course. How could we not consider that? The obvious choice of Wraith Kings. Which I don't think we saw one in ARDM. We only see it in Captain's Draft now. Yeah. Yeah. Ball. He's tell. getting Axe their style points. <laughs> yeah. What would Axe on Wraith King be? Um, Five second cooldown on ult, and the stun's twice as big, basically. Or not the stun, the ulti AoE is twice as big. You c the stun idea isn't necessarily that bad. That instead of slowing your stun when you come back from life. Oh, I see. So it'd be like life, an egg life. almost. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like the best uh, egg like ever. Or, or just that reincarnation has two charges on independent cooldowns, <laughs> something like that. No, it could be like the axe for Phoenix, where you put somebody with with you into your reincarnation. Or while you reincarnate, you can choose where your grave goes, and then you come to life there. Yeah, enemy base. Kill the fountain. I would like to spawn at Oshan. Oh. S4. Track. He's tracking right. He gets swapped. Swap is oh, that's a hex! Oh, we got a beat. A, a lot of damage right off the bat, and S4 gets ignited, just destroyed, instigate, whatever you want to call it. Misery comes in as well, he comes back from his death, but he dies around here right away. Kuroki, despite Why getting the team off, I have no idea, and the egg is dead. Oh my goodness. Ultra kill for G, Big Daddy No Tail on the run. He'll be okay. He's still gonna kill these as he with Doom, probably. Oh my it's God, pretty right. damn close. He's down getting to 50 healed. health, roughly. Ooh. But if they, didn't have they, lost, doctor. they lost their highest net worth hero in the Wind Ranger instantly. No, nothing of value was used for BP. Then Meepo jumps in, they take the Wraith King's first life, and then they choose to fight four on five with Wraith King's ult already used in a pretty disadvantageous position. That was so expensive. They lose four heroes, they lose Roche, and there was track all over the place. Take a look at a graph plummet right there. I'm afraid. Let's see. Plummet? Oh my god, it's even as far as gold now. That's insane. They just lost their whole lead. In well, that's one what a team fight. wipe with zero kills. They got zero kills, right? Everybody no, it's lived. not just that. It's track kills plus Roche. It's true, the track kills are insane. That could not have gone worse unless if No-Tail died. That's like the worst possible fight you can take in Dota, apart from, you know, if you lose your base too. <laughs> right. How fast did Meepo hit level 25? It's been a couple minutes now, or did he just hit it? Mm, I think he might have just hit it. I'd like to know, like, with the average... This is when a stats man would actually be useful for us. We talked about having a stats man before, but it's just kind of weird for Captain's draft because there's not that much history. But yep. it's just to know what the average time for 25 on Meepo is. It's This is definitely not the fastest, but... This is pretty fast, though. Really, Staying at fast, one though. level per minute is pretty good when you reach the high levels, even with Meepo, I think. So... He also got an ultra kill on that fight. That probably helped. But win range right now, almost level 19. Misery. Oh, misery. He jumps so on again. Close. Doesn't have his ultimate to work with. Can't even get a stun off. 24 to 26. VP. Vengeful Spirit. Gets Doom destroyed used, in however. mid lane. Yeah. Doom was used. We are pausing. We are resuming. Okay. They just We're okay. pausing again. Excellent. Who's he's? I have no clue. Could be Kuro. North Korea Welcome. back at it again. <laughs> Welcome to the lag. Meepo at 19k net worth versus S4 at 17k. The distribution is... The discrepancy, I mean, it's pretty even overall. As far as net worth is concerned. Um, and a lot of it has to do with the initiation. Whoever gets the first jump will have the advantage. We saw S4 get decimated by the Meepo initiation and Vengeful Spirit as well. But the same can be said for a couple of times against G. If he gets caught out by a shackle shot, anything. As long as S4 can use focus fire for like four seconds, that's a dead Meepo. Of course, he does have 5k, so could go for a heart or something like that for a little bit more survivability. But S4 still has 4k himself. And I would assume it's going to be... I mean, what do you go now? Mjolnir, MKB, um, just pure damage? Or do you go hybrid... What's your choice for, hmm. for S4? I'm wondering how good the damage out because I don't know the math, especially not with the new focus fire, how much you get out of the Mjolnir, because you could say that how beneficial is the attack speed really in the grand scheme of things when you already have focus fire giving you 500%, right? 
So, Ping, what about the, you? Don't think the static charge would be important at all? Sure, put it on a great. spiderling and push the. It's certainly great, but lane. I think the, the main problem, as, as we talked about earlier, that secret are going to have is can they kill a single meepo fast enough? And Mjolnir's DPS on a single target, it's not really that good when you already have a maelstrom with max attack speed. So I think MKB or maybe Daedalus right now would be probably a better choice. So as far as damage is concerned, I think Daedalus is a better choice, right? It is the best. If I would think. if uh, evasion comes into play, or if you really need a mini stun, obviously MKB is the way, the, the way to go. Yeah, but there's and nothing you really want MKB. Death Ward, well, maybe. The poof, the poof from Meepo if he's trying to get True. away. Like, you don't have to rely on a shackle, per se. Something but I think, think the about. way they're imagining fights breaking out, they find a Meepo, they target him with stuns, and then they kill him. They, I don't think they want to rely on MKB procs or something like that. It's true, there is some merit to it, but I think Daedalus is the most valuable pickup. And judging from his bank account, he would have bought the Mjolnir now if he wanted it, right? He has yeah. money, so. And he has a lot of reliable gold, right too. Right, so well, the that's you were the point. About he might be 20 saving because... Gold, and they're in 20. 20 gold, 4? Aghanim's on Witch Doctor. Yep. That's going to be That's really true. good. Yeah, as long a, as he can he's also level, almost level 14, so... Mm. 16 is not out of the realm of possibility with before minute 40. If they get another good fight. Did we mention Loth or Shadow Blade on Kuroki? I don't think we did. Interesting. It's a, a nice item on Doom. Lothars. It's a nice item on Doom. It got buffed. It's 200 gold cheaper now because of Shadow Amulet being cheaper. Um, I don't know. I still think he has the same problem in the fights, though. The nice thing about Shadow Blade is that you can really roam the map. You can come out of nowhere and find a Doom Kill, which is very powerful. But once the team fights break out and you have no armor, like this Meepo is going to shred you apart, and you have no BKB either. I think going so. when you have a Brood Mother on your team, and they're going to be getting a lot of. Uh, sentries and dust, and they have track to work with. Lothar just feels weird. If you use it, it to does. initiate, it could be better. I mean, to use it to get away, it's not really what it's bought for in this case, I guess. I mean, you talked about the Aghanim Scepter and how the duration, or the clock basically stops when you're close to the target. Mm -hmm. That could also come to play just from the extra move speed. I mean, there's sure. various reasons. It's just it a is lot. a good item. Like no problem. It's not that it doesn't work on Doom and that it's not good. I just for this game situation, I think personally, I would have preferred a BKB on him. I think it would have been more valuable because we've already looked at how many things BKB counters. Mm -hmm. And if it would get a BKB and then maybe a Shivas, then they have some sort of frontliner who can go in. Because right now, the brute, let's be honest, can't fight. <laughs> It doesn't matter how good the initiation angle is, No-Tail is a big melee creep right now. <laughs> and VP have so many counters to him in these team fights that, okay, he's a radiating melee creep, so he's a little better, but until he has a BKB, he's way too easy to target out and shut down. So someone else needs to be able to lead the front lines. Even when No-Tail has his BKB, it doesn't, it's not good enough if the others don't have something similar either. S4 was leading the charge with a BKB, but you saw in that last fight, if S4 is the one opened on, the fight is lost. He just gets hexed, bursted, and then the, the rest of the team, they can't win a 4 on 5, 20k net worth down. So, Kuro can be the player with the Blink BKB. Shadowblade, not so much yet. We'll see. It, regardless, it's a tough situation, to be honest. They, after that one fight and the gold being even now, I think no matter what item he builds, they're probably on the back foot, based on composition alone, mm -hmm. at this stage in the game. Gold's pretty even. Experience a little bit of an advantage of you. VP, and that's to be expected with a, a bounty on the opposite side, who we haven't talked about at all, by the way, has a Lincoln's Vlad's Demon Edge. Interesting array of abilities. Not going to get doomed anytime soon, unless. Well, let's see, what can they take it off? They have Spiderlings, they have, I guess, technically Shackled, although that's not really something you want to use. Level, Level Death is probably the easiest. Wraith King, I feel like his stun is pretty damn good, and you want to save that for somebody like Witch Doctor. Especially considering he has Ags, basically. Could now. agree with that. And I mean, once Witch Doctor gets BKB, I mean, at this rate, he's probably going to get BKB this game or have money for it if they continue to allow him to get farm. And the only thing that goes through it is Doom. That's it. That might yeah. be another reason to get MKB. Does MKB go through BKB? Is it a magical stun or a physical stun? It's different on melee and ranged heroes. 
So, okay, I want to make sure I don't say anything wrong, because I feel like sometimes I mix these things up one way or the other with these. So I want to make completely sure I say it right, because there's some differences between Basher and MKB exactly in the mechanics. Mm. Um, so let me just quickly look this up so I'm 100% sure. I have a feeling, and then I'll tell you if my feeling was right or wrong. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you what I literally did. I just Googled monkey. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Instead of Monkey King Bar, I was like, my brain was just drifting off. I'm like, monkey. That is. Awesome. What did you get? I want to know what you got now. I'm a interested. Picture of a monkey. What the hell did you expect? Which monkey? Steam is down, guys. We did it again. We've done it. It's just a daily Too ritual. Easy. 10 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Good. So both the damage and the stun are magical. On MKB. Both. Say. Sorry. What? Both the damage and stun are magical. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought it would be the stun would be magical and the damage would be physical. That's what I thought. But interesting. And then on, if you look at the, like not, on not the basher, it's the other way around. Both are physical. See, that's the so thing. That like, goes through it's completely arbitrary. Just so random. I can never remember that stuff. I mean, not that it's exactly the same. Like Slardar's stun, the crush. The damage is physical, the stun is magical, and yep. what is the actual bash on that hero? Is that equivalent to... Double physical. It's both physical? Yeah. Okay. I mean, generally speaking, uh, that's what you want if you have a stun. But the reason like this that, is a little physical. puzzling for me with the MKB is that I seem to remember there, at least in Dota 1, being a difference between whether you were ranged or a melee hero. Uh, well, in the remember way when they, they patched but... that a bit to where melee and range had a lot of similarities? like. Got rid yeah. of some of that arbitrariness. I can't, I can't remember when it happened. It's so hard to remember all these things by heart because the reason I'm often confused is that I am remembering things from the past of how it used to work, and then you can't remember did it get changed or not, and was it actually? Oh, game's on. Kuroki getting chased by Sadoi, who's actually dealing a lot of damage. There's no doom to work with. He does pop his Scorch Earth, and puppies here after that pause. Has an illusion based off him, which looks freaking awesome. That should be the Arcana. It's a blue flame phoenix. He's trying to use. Oh boy, this burst damage is ridiculous. Mm. Unfortunately, if he had a cliff there, he might have been able to get away. But when you do that, the trees do get destroyed. So nowhere for him to really go. Uh, even then, I think he was trapped, right? And then. Chris yeah, had blink tag on Depot. True. No tail. He can buy BKB right now if he wants. Boost to travel now on Doom. This seems so greedy to me. Now he has two pairs two of boots. Two boots, two initiation things Radiant with Lothar's. And... Like, that attack. is really greedy, isn't it? But it might just stuff. be the analysis from Secret now that they can't fight anyway, Radiant's so now they're going to play a different kind of game. A more split push oriented game, and just trying to get pick offs and skirmishes. And I would agree with that assessment. Oh, there's the big... shackle. Oh. And the jump in. That's a big kill. What was used? Looks like level death popped the Lincolns, and VP's gonna let their bounty die. S4 no definite MVP though. for Secret right now. He is. His shackles have been on point, as we've talked about. And now it's just all about item progression for everybody. So Brood does finish the BKB. Meepo had 5k. What did he buy now? Is it a, is it a Scott? Is... Wait. Yeah, Scotty. I think he could finish the whole thing just about if he wants to. And a Daedalus is going to be picked up by the Ember Spirit. Does he have the whole thing? I think it's just the recipe, so he needs... He still needs a bit more. About 400 gold to finish that Demon Edge. Puppy has the mecha as we've seen, and it is going to be MKB. I would have been fine with either. MKB is, um... I guess it's a little safer, if you know what I mean. It's a little less damage, but it's... It's a safer choice, I think. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder, with the new attack speed, whether that has shifted, whether Daedalus or MKB has the higher damage. Because you get more hits in, but that would also mean you get more crits and you get more MKB procs. I don't know. My intuition tells me Daedalus would still deal more overall damage. But with this high attack speed, you're going to mini-stun all the time, and it's really frustrating to play against, actually. So maybe there's some value in getting less damage, but more of the... More disable. It's almost a disable, right? Yeah. When you have that much attack speed, it's pretty great. I don't think there's a cooldown on the stun. I MKB. don't believe MKB has an internal cooldown. Basher does. Pretty much everything else does in the game yeah. that I can think of, at least. Did Sniper Headshot of old have that? 
trying to think if that one didn't have a cooldown either. I don't, uh, remember, don't think so either. No. Not that it matters now. Mm -hmm. The enemy jungle for VP being occupied by by Secret as they're warding it up. Mostly counter wards. There is one at the high. This one's going to expire any second now, though. Basically occupying each other's jungles, which is something we've seen quite a bit this patch in this tournament in particular. Yep. Roshan. The Aegis is. Is it still? I don't think it's up still. Oh, it is. It's about Meeple to pop, has though. It. And I was about to say, because we've talked a, quite a bit in this game about yeah, I know it, um, how strong VP are in the mid game, but we're approaching the point when Meeple peaks, and that's when I think they need to get some work done. Because he's one item short of being full inventory. He's already level 25, as you pointed out, so there's no more scaling for him. He could redo his item build, but in terms of how much they get in return for how much gold they throw into that, I don't think that's really as good as other heroes like Bounty Hunter getting farm. Mm -hmm. So you need, if you're VP, I think it's about time after you get, you know, try to get the next Roche, and then I think it's go time. Because then you, then you should have all the advantages you need. You have. Uh, Daedalus now finished on BZZ, so he's up to 300 damage plus the True Strike, or not the True Strike, I'm talking about the Pure Damage Cleave, as well as, of course, the Crit Chance. And that should be, I, I think that's enough for them to win the team fights. So then they just need to not get split pushed by Secret, which they are really good at, though, so. Yeah. This has the potential to go into it being a long game. But one yeah, big so. mistake is probably going to end it entirely. If Secret mess up, they can lose three lanes of racks to this Meepo. Yeah, Meepo is pretty much one of the best pushers in the game, no doubt about it. If and you think about it, his, his hero has 152 damage, right? So then you think about how hard a hero hits with double damage, and he has quintuple damage, plus Venjora. So he has like, okay. he, hits, he has like seven times that damage, so about a thousand with Venge next to him. Man, they Good could proof. not quite find a kill here. If he had gotten a Doom, that would have been a kill on somebody. They just pass right by him, VP sneaking away. No kills will come from this, so the farming continues, no tail. 2300 gold now. Not sure what he goes for now. I mean, I, th there's no way he goes Orchid. That, the window passed a long time ago. That door closed, I should say. Maybe Butterfly. Hmm. For Meepo? Or Lifesteal, no, uh, the Brood. Oh. I don't know. It, this is a very, for me, this is a very awkward position to be in as Brood. Butterfly's not that good. It's okay. Not really. You're gonna, you're playing against the Hex, and, well, that, there's only one Hex, I guess, so it could be good. And you have BKB too, so when you're in that, obviously fine. I know I'm sounding a bit but like a broken record with this, but I think, once again, Daedalus would be a good choice. With his ultimate, mm. pretty high crits. And once again, they need that single target hard hitting. He also has Medallion to go with it, which is nice. You can give mine seven armor there. And then... Still might need a Blink Dagger on top of that, though. That's the issue. He just needs too much stuff on the Brute now. Can he even stay in a lane by himself? With all this mobility now on VP, they have so he much... He gets soloed by Meepo, easily. Well, I think everybody gets soloed by Meepo. At this uh, point in the game. Yeah, that's a good point. But it's all about getting caught out and... I mean, the split push is the name of the game. Roche is going to be up another minute and 15 seconds. Of course, the teams do not know that. And Man, we're going to watch uh, Kuroki use it, his Midas. Very important. Use it on a small creep. There you go. Wait, he used it on the big creep. I disagree wholeheartedly with that, Kuroki. Yeah, I think once you're level 20, game. it's like, you just use it on the small creeps now, I think. Yeah, I would agree. There's, there's at some point, I guess for most heroes, you could say the threshold is level 16. That after that, in many cases, you will want to Midas the small creep and just get more gold instead of more XP. So I'm with you on that. But in the early game, almost always is it better to Midas the big one. Notel is slowly burning away the bounty hunter. Little does he know that's actually happening. And... This will be a tough kill. They need... They need vision before they have the gem, actually. It's on Yule of all heroes. And we're going to clear the trees. I'm not going to find them. Another <laughs> 20 seconds for Rush. Uh, Remember when he first came Brood's out? House. And he could walk through cliffs and stuff without yep. worrying about taking damage. That was pretty sick. <laughs> okay. Sick. Usually sick is mean, means good nowadays. I don't think that's what you mean. That was pretty good for Brood. Not good for the game. Sick for Brood. Okay. Yeah. I gotcha. Roche is up. 
Yeah, man. Three heroes for secret This is free. Just look at that. It's Aegis oh and Cheese. God, what a hero. So, Vlad's going to have Vengeance Aura from the Venge, minus Armor from the Venge Wave. They didn't even, did they even have Medallion on that kill? I don't think they have Medallion, right? Do they if they have it? Medallion, that Roche is a literal five second kill. Literal. <laughs> literal five second kill. Literally. Literally a literal five second kill. Uh, who oh. picked up the Cheese? They're going to counter ward a bit with this gem. The cheese is yeah, on BZZ. Cheese cheese. Probably a good choice. If he gets doomed, obviously, it's not good. <laughs> Mot notes. <laughs> if he gets doomed, it's not going to be too good for him, but you know, it happens from time to time. 3400 goal on the S4, thank you. Um, oh, another MKB in the yeah, field. Let's put Bounty in. This is a hero where MKB is generally just better than Daedalus because you already have a building crit, right? Radiance and they also need, they can't proc on the same attack. So. And that basically means Brood's not going to go Butterfly for all intents and purposes. Like, it's applied. Yeah, yeah. I mean, technically Obviously he could, worse. but I doubt it. Oh, Swap that's a on the puppy, sheep right off the bat. That was one slide of fist, basically doing Radiance the ridiculous high high damage. Fallen. Secret don't have enough pressure on this top lane to force them back. I think they're gonna go on both yeah, they're gonna TP back. Lincoln's they're gonna TP back. back. BKB now on Din. This is gonna be a little surprise factor. There's a buyback available for Puppy. And look at the focus bar just destroy G. He has the age of the court. And the question is, does the debuff still apply to him right now? We'll see him soon enough. Yol getting four staffed out. G trying to do a lot of damage. Misery is gonna be the first to go down. So Doom in and the level death. G is dead. That is the biggest kill right now for Secret. Although they've oh, got soon to be two. The Witch Doctor all dealing a lot of work. S4, BKBs. Love dealing work. Uses that evasion. Beautifully done. Yol. Gets stunned from the egg, and the aggression continues from Puppy and company. Misery comes in, destroys Jonix, Sedoi on the run. Do they have vision? There's a sentry place. They know he's gone down in this general area. If nothing else, the Radiance will get him. And down he goes. It is four dead. I think two for Secret bot back. We'll see soon enough. Here we yeah. go. Brood and Three died. Phoenix. And two bot back. Wait, does that... Does that death actually count as the ult? How did he die and not buy back, but he's up already in Wraith King? Who? Wraith King. Did it say he was dead? Yeah, it said he died, but I don't think that's right. Oh, I was I just, just looking at the buyback ult. status to see how many bought back. I, I guess he didn't die. Yeah. I mean, there's no way he well, respawned this fast without buying that, back. That is for focus fire is brutal. He killed me on his own during a shackle shot. Now they're going to force a buyback the other way. Probably going to back off now. And this is getting really scary for both teams now, because any mistake is probably two lanes of racks if done on their own half of the map. Mm -hmm. Since buybacks are... Let's see, who Dyer's bought back for the Dyer just now? Sedoi on attack. the bounty. They still have buyback on Meepo, though, and another item, probably. He's gonna buy Boots of Travel, as well as whatever else he wants. What is A the heart, best perhaps? choice? I actually think Ethereal Blade could work just to stop the focus fire on the target. Whoever S4 goes on, mm -hmm. if it's... Unless he shuts down the main one. If the main one is either doomed or stunned, then he can't E-Blade with it. But if it's any of the other ones as four finds, he can E-Blade. And that might be a really big... That's a really... Game. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought of that, actually. That's really, really smart. Because that's not, their main damage source is the Focus Fire. And of course, it's a single target ability, yeah. technically speaking. It's still a situational and a very high skill play. And in, in this kind of chaotic fight, it can be very difficult to do it with the right timing. But... Uh, what alternatives does he have? Refresher Orb, so he has two hexes, could be a very situational play. Else there's something like Second Scotty or a Heart for more health on all the Meepos, but I don't think that's the way to go. Maybe even a Kiras. Just stack up more armor so you're more tanky wow, against these heroes. what is the range on Cheap Stick? Jesus Christ! Puppy, pretty long. Puppy uh, getting stunned. Pops his mech. That's another track. Oh, this get is this big. big. He can get this. Let's go for the... Uh, a little crit damage from Lothars because he doesn't need it. Oh, was that like two? Was that like a Are second? Not even a second? S4 did all that damage? I know. Well, we should keep in mind that he also gets the with that crit aura from Kuro. I don't know. Did you mention that? That's like, no, I did not. That's a good point. Yeah. I mean, well, shit. That that could be the reason he's not getting Daedalus. I don't know. Kuroki on the run now. Oh, sorry, not the crit aura. What am I talking about? The thirty percent damage. That would make Daedalus even better. That's true. Oh. That is true. Kuroki, nice swap. Taking oh, a lot of damage. S4 destroyed Yul. 
He sacrificed his life, but he did a fine job, if I do say so myself. Misery's old pops. And the surround is there for Meepo and company. And way too much damage. Gem again trades hands. Meanwhile, bottom no lane. Doing no his best. takes tier two out. Wants to continue to push. He still needs more. Like you're right, he's super under farmed, generally speaking, and what would actually help? I mean, do you think wouldn't assault cures be weird on brood? Just for pushing purposes? Because I think Adesso is good for pushing, but it's just he's so squishy already. It's okay. I and just to go back to what I said before about brood, I feel like he has to do too many things at once. Uh, AC is definitely up there as being good, and there is the AC for me provider. Did you make that choice? I like it a lot. I like it a no, lot. No tell has to be KB, probably. Yeah. Uh, but I can see Kira's on Brute, but now that they have a Doom, they obviously don't want it. But he could have got oh, it just Kuroki as well. Gets he doesn't and buy back. This is huge. Look at this burst damage out of control. He is dead for the count, and here comes the egg. I think that Meepo can kill it. It's an amazing counter to the egg. He's barely gonna get it. That's Phoenix dead, just like that in misery. He does have his ult, he's gonna come back to life. Meepo dies, buys back, has boots of travel, will be back any second. No tail only oh, half no. HP, jot him, no mana. Did he cancel his TP? Oh, that's that's creep rough. died. Well he can port another one, but it's gonna, gonna take crits. a while. Just the right click from BZZ. <laughs> I think cheese needs to be given to Meepo, but he doesn't have room. I mean, I the cheese has been up easy this whole this time. Is two lanes. It's not game, because I don't think they... Well, I think they could end if they go mid. They could just go for the... Th this game is over if they make the play of going for the tier force. They have 50 seconds with a Meepo in there. There's no kill potential in the Radiant. Yeah, it's safe to go for the safe play. And the problem with this is they can't get Megas. Unless if Meepo ports top right now and takes out this tower, then they could. Right. And that's exactly what G should be doing, and he will. So if they get Megas, that's time. also game. But they could have ended it right there. Better safe than sorry. No tell in the trees. Top tower Gonna get surrounded. Do they have vision? No, Where's the gem right with now? The 20 seconds. This is gonna be very close. Well, it's gonna be another team. Oh, they found the thing. Oh boy. No tell gets blown up into no pieces. Buyback. Phoenix is back. 110 seconds. No tell is out of this game. Look at all That's this gold on, the, top tower on G. Showing no tell how it's done on Meepo. He's like, you should have picked this hero, bro. Too Radiant's good, too good to pass up. Anyway, it's gonna be Megas and all like it is. S4 trying oh, to make a last not. stand, gets a nice shackle. Oh, sorry, beautiful swap from Jordan. It's gonna keep his comrade and arms alive. Misery, his ult is up yet again. The cooldown of that is ridiculously low. Yol, getting right click down. Kuroki, one more will do it. Actually, the power shot will be enough. BCC, he is doomed. He has his cheese, but it looks like he's gonna fall down thanks to this Aghanim Scepter. Doom. Eventually we'll get oh, the kill. Got the hex on the last hex on S4, stun as well. Oh my god. BZZ buys back. I'm that sure he has a huge. remnant here. Where is he? And he's back into the fight. And this looks like the beginning of the end for, for Team Secret is Kuroki trying to go 1v1. It's actually closer than I thought it would be. <laughs> BZZ not quite as farmed as I thought. Still has the cheese to work with. People is dead for 82 seconds. That's his main pushing power. So Doi's stuck in the enemy base. All that's left is a melee Rax top. Does Pretty not sure have a gem, so what's the Koro? Can I eat the cheese on BC? Yeah, he ate it. He just ate it. It was delicious, delicious cheese. Misery is all up in five seconds. I can't believe this. Buffy and company trying to do as much as they can to keep them out of their base. Sadoi, Lincoln's is popped. Initiation continues. He's trying to make a last stand himself, but he's going to drop to the deck. So they do hold the melee racks top. I guess it just comes down to whether Meepo's alive. This is going to take a minor miracle now for Secret. All their lanes are pushed in. It's not that they only have a Rex left, but they don't have... During this death timer of VP, they have like no chance of really getting out of the map. They're also contained very nicely by the Dire Wards, scouting the the outskirts of their base, so... And with that... And with Roche, Roche is up in a minute. minute, yeah. And if they it's get like that, perfect. it's pretty much 100%. It'd be very tough to throw that. <laughs> very tough. I know a few people that could do it, though. And it's just been, I mean, we talked about this before. No tail, the last time he picked Brood, and Brood in general, if you lock him down early, he's kind of miserable, honestly. I mean, he just hasn't gotten any item progression at all. Let, me, let me give you a thought experiment. Thought 50 experiment. 50 minutes in, 50 minutes in, Yeah. you can pick any hero, any, any classic core in the game. 
in a 15 minute game, and you have 325 CS. Can you find a hero that's worse than Brood right now? Ooh, that's a good point. Mm. Techie. <laughs> is that a core? I don't know. That doesn't, techies it can doesn't be. count. Techies, out of, techies is not even a hero. It's out of category. Like, what comes under here? He's a squire. Or something, you know? right. Wow, look at this. Swap's oh not going to save his life. That's an Aghanim Scepter Doom, but Kuroki? He BKB. will buyback. Oh, he's done. I think. Yeah, he yeah, has, he has buyback. So but him dying for Witch Doctor is actually okay <laughs> in this situation. I, it's, it's not your ideal trade, but as long as his buyback is up, he can go for these risky plays because they need to get out on that map. And how dare you, Cinderin? Techies is always a core the team victory. <laughs> so we're going to have a jump in, jot him, focus fire. Mm. That's all you need to say. <laughs> it keeps surprising me how much damage that really deals. Like, it's insane. And with the, I forgot to mention the Aghanim Scepter also reduces the cooldown, I believe, right? Yeah, 15 yep. seconds. It does. That is so sick. So sick. She, how would you rate her as... Like, let's say she has all the farm in the world. You dodged my question about Brood. Wait, what? No, I, I'm fine with Brood being the answer to that. That's fine. You need to... Brood can't be the answer to find a worse hero than Brood. <laughs> Brood is the answer. He's the only worse hero than Brood. Okay. I, don't know, I can't think of any. I have to look at the list, honestly. A, a cl classic force. I don't know. Spirit Breaker. A Spirit Breaker is still better. He's actually pretty good with farm. He just doesn't get it. Yeah. Oh well. You were saying with Wind Back to my how I would rate her as carry? Yeah, let's say equal farm versus some of the best carries in the game. How I, oh. high. Bleh. How high up is she? Certainly a lot better now than she used to be. It Are we talking just in general or. For any type of game, because if in general, then she's yeah, general. still trailing behind the big carries. I would maybe put her top ten, actually well, now, still, or maybe that's maybe top still pretty big. Um, okay. In games where you're playing against one core, like one big core, I think she can be one of the absolute best because focus fire is just insane. Okay. Yeah. Probably. It it really depends on the situation. The that's that's one of the things that makes the other late game carries really good is that. There's no real game where, for example, late game, there's very, very few games you can imagine where Void isn't good, super late game. Same for Spectre. Mm -hmm. But you can imagine a lot of games where Windranger will fall off. Oh, Shackle! What? Who is that? Just a, well, I should have ignored it. Is that a it. joke? Who is that? I don't know. Anyway, I think he's one of the co-casters. Is that a joke, Sidori? <laughs> I can't stop! That is the most ridiculous thing ever. Kuroki getting destroyed, Misery the follow, he gets a stun off his ultimate pop. Egg in they addition to They got Meepo though. Yeah, they did get Meepo, I didn't even uh, see no that. No-tail being useful. Yol. Got him. Alright, three dead for VP, that did require buyback from Kuroki. And I think they have to do an all-out push here. Buybacks. Okay, Meepo does not have a buyback for another 13 seconds, so plenty of time. BZZ is going to do a real nice job here of making sure that at least somebody has to stay in this. Even just no tell, he can destroy in all likelihood. So we'll see how that comes to Frisian Sedoi. Lincoln's pop, Raid Fire Blast to follow. That's the four staff, by the way, being picked up to do just that. Cheese is popped. Sedoi really Man, wants to live. Citra are getting a lot right now, and they're not really paying anything. And he has a buyback available for him if he dies. He does so have a buyback, yeah? He just forces out a lot of time. No tell, trying to do something against BZZ. Still do have the Aegis on BZZ, but this is this is the time for, for Secret. This is probably the best chance they're gonna get. They have to yeah, try to get Rex. Sure. They might even do try you to think end it was the game a mistake? one swoop. That's scary. Do you think it was a mistake not to give Aegis to Meepo, just have him drop something? Because he's by far the most important hero. Even with five items, he's still ridiculously Dyer's strong. Focus fire the Rex. Mm, I think having the Aegis on the Emperor is actually better. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, he's gonna TP back to base. Meepo is up now. I believe Seeker's gonna probably oh, fall back. Oh, back their bounty. Wow. Seeker were going out anyway. And we'll see if they can find any Jota, pass four staff. Oh, yes. if he finds his four now into a hex. Radiance middle Night vision. Oh, oh the, the Lincolns. He can blink stun, though. Yeah, His blink stun, that's true. Too. There we go, the wind range. Wind stun is up. God damn, I actually called it <laughs> <Wind> range. <laughs> the wind range ability. And down he goes getting. He does have a buyback. Yep. And with this, Meepo's gonna to group up and well. go for it. So Meepo has a buyback as well, so... Yeah. If they just go Bounty all in on Megas, Wait, is it worth it? Okay, there's nothing on that. But Sedoi bought back for that, so if he gets killed, he cannot come back into this fight now. Mm. G can, though. 
like you said, boot, uh, boots travel and buyback available. Is it worth just running in, killing the racks, or is it just not worth it? That, I don't think they can get away with that. I think they're gonna have to fight the fight. Now. What's the buyback on? There's a collision. And yeah, we have BKB on Misery, gets four staffed in. The egg on the side, dealing a little bit of damage on the side. Can they kill G in the meantime? Wind Ranger buys back. Raid King Ult pops right off the bat. Big Daddy no telling. There's G again, just getting decimated over and over to this focus fire. He buys back into the game as expected. Puppy taking damage, still on the sidelines. Gets a really nice, uh, whatever in God's name is skill is called, Misery. Oh, what the hell is that skill called? Oh, meantime. Fire Oh, this oh, could be a mistake. Shackle. Oh, Shackle. Does he have focus fire again? Of course he does, because the cooldown is ridiculously low. G, half HP. Can they take him down? They do! They're gonna get complete mega creeps though. The question is, can Secret push all the way into the base against four heroes of no, VP? They cannot. You heard it here first, folks. No. <laughs> Brute is dead. Maybe in a five on four you have a chance. They're definitely gonna do their best, but they have no attack point. Mm. There's no enemy creep wave inside the dire base. This is well, it's gonna take a miracle now. If they had a creep wave inside VP's base, I would say they really had a shot at it, because then they could BOT there and try for the fight. But it's going to take them those 60 seconds to cross the river, or cross the map entirely, rather. Maybe they get a half a lane of Rex, but... Also, how many BOTs do the Radiant have? They only have Kuro, so he has to be in bay. Ah, uh, never mind, S4 has them too. So one of them probably needs to defend his bottom lane, which no one is doing. And if they TP defensively, then they can push. They're the Megas. S4, or Puppy rather, is going to defend this, so this means the push is 4 on 4. Kuro. Has Doom in six seconds. And Amber's gonna get out as a result he of that does cooldown. have buyback. Puppy went Maelstrom just to try to push these creeps just a little bit. And Yol is, is top lane. How long has he had this? He's had the BKB for a while. We never really. Or I didn't mention it. Four staff in misery. This is gonna Dyer's be the last stand for Secret in game attack. one of this ridiculous start Dyer's to the best of five grand finals of the Captain's Draft tournament. Dodge of the Rift Fire Blast. Uh, no Tail's gonna need to buy BOTs right now if he wants to be a part of this play. Oh, the Brood hasn't been that effective this game. I'm not. Well, Focus Fire now on the tower. Lincoln's is popped. Of course, with such a low cooldown, he can go in whenever he wants. Yol pops BKB. Radiant this is gonna force Team Secret completely out, knowing that they can't cancel. Nico in the Radiant base, G. Yep, we're gonna watch this fight for now, though. Nice ultimate from Yol, dealing quite a bit of damage. S4, look at the Maledict. He's gonna go down one way or another. Meantime, the enemy base, G, goes down again! This time to Kuroki's Doom. Yol, in the meantime, gets a stun off on Puppy. He's doing a lot of good job in kiting. Jotam gets a stun on the Puppy. That's a three for one. Obviously, they get the most important kill, but they just can't do anything about the other heroes that are so ridiculously farmed. They're gonna call it GG. As Sadoi just right clicks to an insta -get. Man, that was a good start, though. What a game. Yeah, for sure. MVP. I want to say the draft was also superior for this type of game, and mainly that because they dealt very well with the brute early on. Secret were pushed into a position in this game that they didn't pick for. This is not the stage of the game their lineup wants to go into, and VP. Even with a 14 death Meepo, they still pull it off. And the reason I'm pointing that out is that Meepos that usually die a lot and they lose the game, right?